Health officials in Ohio are closely monitoring an outbreak of the measles in the Columbus region. Right now, 32 cases are reported by the City of Columbus Department of Public Health. 13 kids were hospitalized. No deaths are reported here, but at this point, they know the cases are reported among children at a total of 12 daycares and schools combined. So what could and what should parents know before they send their kids to school? With this on their mind, we're bringing in Akron Children's Hospital's Pediatric Infectious Disease Specialist, Dr. Evelyn Pangonis. Thank you so much for taking the time. And my pleasure. Yes, you know, first off, we are wondering, you know, how do the measles spread? And is this something that can spread to kids who are already vaccinated with the measles vaccine? Yes. So, uh, so just to cut back, so typically uh, patients with the measles, they initially first develop a fever, then they also develop upper respiratory symptoms like cough, runny nose, uh, congestion, and then they develop a rash that starts on, on the head and spreads all the way down to their feet. Then it kind of all mushes together and eventually it peels off and fades away. And this whole process takes about, about 10 days to happen. Now, people that have measles are contagious from about four days before they get a rash till four days after they get a rash. Um, and the way they spread it to other kids uh, or, or adults is by uh, contaminated uh, respiratory secretions like coughing, sneezing, uh, touching things, and, and other people touching uh, things in um, objects like door, uh, surfaces or doorknobs. But the, this virus can also linger in the air for hours after that. So you can be exposed even though somebody you haven't been around somebody with measles. Uh, I'm just wondering, you know, now that we know this thing is airborne, uh, the CDC is worried and I'm wondering they're reporting, you know, 55 cases of measles in the US right now. The CDC and the World Health Organization just actually issued a warning last week that almost 40 million children are, quote, dangerously susceptible to the growing measles threat because some kids are missing their vaccine doses. Are you seeing fewer parents vaccinating their kids for this? Yes, that is something we've seen uh, during the COVID pandemic, either just from uh, concerns from from other newer vaccines that have made them more less likely to, to get their their uh, standard childhood vaccines. That more more often, it's about people missing their well child checks and not getting their, their kind of routine preventative health care. Um, yeah. Now, isn't this vaccine, I guess, well researched? It's not like the COVID, which was a new thing. Uh, you know, doctors are worried that the COVID pandemic and the restrictions really set back some kids and this is a result of that this outbreak of measles do you agree with that um yeah i i think i think it's hard to say what's on what's on uh everybody's mind i do think that there initially that we were really strained for resources so it was hard to get people in and i know there was also being a parent myself uh, you don't want to bring your kids when you think that there's you're, they're going to be at risk for get, getting COVID by going to a health setting. Uh, I think as the pandemic went, went on, people were getting getting back into their, their preventative care. Unfortunately, I think some people were still uh, either not willing to go and get their well checks or, or just willing to be uh, left behind or not be up to date with their vaccines. Yeah, there's lots of vaccines and I'm sure you have a whole list of them. Uh, just real quick, what are the top ones just before parents, you know, send their kids to school or daycare? What are the, the ones that you must do? So I, I just uh, looked this up. So in, in Ohio, the ones that you have to have are the, it's a, it's a combination vaccine called the tetanus, diphtheria and pertussis, uh, which prevents against two of the respiratory illnesses and then tetanus, um, which can cause a, a disease called lockjaw. Uh, polio vaccine, the uh, measles, mumps, rubella, hepatitis B, uh, the chickenpox vaccine, and then before you you're in your seventh grade, you have to get a vaccine against uh, meningitis. Now there are other ones that are also important, especially for for young kids that are kind of preschool age. Uh, that vaccinates against uh, bacteria that, uh, that vaccinate against uh, bacteria that cause meningitis or um, and also pneumonia. All right, Dr. Pangonis, thank you so much for taking the time today from Akron Children's Hospital. Great to have you on. Hopefully we don't see an outbreak here in Northeast Ohio. I know everyone's watching to see what's happening to our South closely. Thank you for your time.